Are you ready? I'm ready. You sure? Let's go. Ring the bell, start the fight. I'm ready, Jay. Let's go. Bell's rung. Ten rounds underway from the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Yamaguchi Falcao, the lefty. Perfect record of 15-0, 7 KO, signed by Golden Boy Promotions. It developed in, in his career. But one of the things with Yamaguchi, Steve, is when you live in Brazil, it's hard and expensive to get you to have fights in the United States. And also, if you're going to live there and train there, I'm not so sure you could really develop as a young fighter in terms of getting the proper sparring. I know that's an issue right now with Robson Consecao, another Olympian with another promotional outfit. You look at Falcao, he's pretty solid and on his feet. Now, we talked about the step up for 2018. Originally, on this particular date, he was supposed to be fighting Dimitri Bubu Andrade, who, as his won't, changed his Stop. plan. So this is how he got stuck no, fighting no, in no, 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 no. But again, 2018, it's going to be the year where I think he's going to have to okay. make a decision along with Golden Boy over what path they want to take. Box! So Andrade supposed to be here. Spada gets the call, says, heck yeah, I'm there. Give me an opportunity to show what I can do. Spada's actually fought in Golden Boy Card before. He used to live and train in the Del Mar area in San Diego County a few years ago. Fought in the promotion a couple times. Went back to Merida, Yucatan, where he's from. Stop! He's now 27 hey, hey, years hey, old. Hey, hey, hey. And Beto, this wouldn't surprise me if we Box. won a few rounds here. Espadas in 20 professional bouts has never been knocked out, and he's fought as high as a light heavyweight, scaling 172. Currently on an eight-fight winning streak, but against very, very soft opposition. No! Don't push him down! No! Box! Yamaguchi has that style where he's going to take his time. He plods. That's not his style. He doesn't like yeah. to exchange with people. Espada loves to mix it up. It'll be interesting how this fight shakes out. Stop! Yamaguchi Falcao and Thank you. Box. If it becomes a boxing match, Falco should pretty much cruise to a victory. As far as, even though he may not want to do so, Stop! he might be outgunned, but the only way I can really see him pulling the upset here is getting Box. to a lot of exchanges and dragging Falco into a bit of a firefight. First round winding down in Las Vegas. Oh, God, love it. Hey, side to side. Don't complain. Porky G's in the corner of Falcao. I'll pick up a word or two for you. The Spadas? My amigos over there from Espanol. I understand that. But when I did pick it up, Falcao they asked him if he has power of the spot. He shook it off and said no. <laughs> Yamaguchi Falcao. Oh, There's a clash of heads. There's a low blow. It was down low. Jamie Haney had his hands full early on in this fight. <laughs> they were complaining about. Hits him on the kidney shots in the first round. I don't think he did it intentionally, but you still hit him low. Spada speaks no English. So he's just staring at Jamie. Well, Nady better speak the language of boxing, but when you have a, a matchup of a southpaw and okay? a conventional fighter, that conventional fighter is not sure? exactly Barishnikov right. 
on the Gordon canvas. Th this just has the there. look of a very, very awkward matchup. And Falcao Fox. will be involved in awkward fights. Falcao, 160 pounds in that division. And there will be a knockdown there. Knockdown! Go over there! Straight left, Three. and it took the knee Four. for Espada. Five! Espada Six. went down, and Falcao Seven. jumped in right away. Eight! You okay? After suffering a low blow. He pushed Fox. me. That's what he said. He got hit, he but his gloves touched the canvas. He may have pushed him, but it was a left cross. Yeah, the left cross pushed him down. I thought Cal landed left and a right. The urgency from Lamaguchi for Cal, completely different from what I've seen in the past. Fight. You know, this is very out of character. Falcao is generally a guy that takes and probe yeah. and kind of dips his toe into the pool before diving in. This is probably the most action or most aggression I've seen from Falcao early in a fight throughout his career. Without a doubt, I think I've been 10 of his fights. Usually the first two rounds, three rounds, you're telling stories about his background. That's two. No mas. Bucks. 1080, hands full early. And you know, the lack of entertainment value in most of his fights, I think it's one of the reasons why, despite being, as he does the Ollie shuffle there, uh, is I think one of the reasons why he hasn't been given a lot of opportunities on the big stage. Now, last year, Cinco de Mayo weekend, as Canelo fought Julio Cesar Chavez, he did fight Morgan Fitz, but again, while he won that fight, he didn't necessarily leave the impression with the general audience, we want to see more of that. And that fight was one where they were thinking, okay, for Fitch is somebody who's up and coming. Maybe this will be the guy. That, oh, I mean, that, that might have been a class. Right? Beto, the way they are both diving in, okay, it yeah. looks like they might yeah. not knock him at any time. In fact, that may have happened just then. It's a matter of time with that. Stop! Break! Stop! Break. Now box. Stop. Nothing to lose coming here. Break. I gotta get go all out. Box. Go for broke. I give his spot his credit. He's been floored. He probably has lost the first two rounds, but he's fighting in a manner that's actually making Falcao fight back. He's putting pressure to him for the first time. Time, time. Vente, 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 vente. Tranquilo, respira, respira. Breathe. Tranquilo. Otra vez. Una vez más. Otra más. Vamos a enfocarnos, Elias. We need to focus. Estás muy desordenado. Thank you. Tenemos que trabajar más con el orden. Te estás yendo con los golpes y no me, y me estás buscando no cao. Vamos a empezar a boxear y cuando se te pegue, vamos a trabajar con la zona blanda. We're disorganized. You got to stay organized in that round. You can't go to the other side. He's trying to get his body. Come on, let's see what okay? And his spot has hit the canvas in the second frame. Let's see if it was a clean punch. A one-two. And honestly, it looked to me like his spot has parried it with his back hand, but he was off balance. You know, it did graze the side of his head. And if it does touch the opponent in a clean striking area and your knee touches, that, by rule, is a knockdown. And the glove also touched the canvas. You say, Steve, by rule, a knockdown. So he goes down as a knockdown for... Yamaguchi Fukao in the second. Here's the third. You hear the corner of his foot. He's just organized here. One, two from his body. What they want is for him to be fundamentally sound and don't get dragged into a fight. That might be the only way his body has a real way. Doing stuff like that is basically going to drag him down. Falcao is the much more seasoned technician. Much smoother, much more of an elegant fighter. His body wants to make this into a bar fight. His only shot, really. Because if he tries to box with Yamaguchi, Stop. the skill level is One completely more different. You know, and to his One credit, more he is point. dragging Falcao box. into probably the most entertaining battle we've ever seen him in. Yeah, without a doubt. You see, Styles make fights. That's people. Sometimes Styles will make a fight. Well, sometimes Styles will negate a fight. <laughs> by virtue of Falcao's southpaw style and the fact he likes to box, but I have never actually seen him step forward this aggressively like this. Never. Folks, leather is flying here at the Hard Rock. I've never seen Yamaguchi throw more than three punches at a time. Yeah, who is this guy? I can get into this guy. 
But you, you hear the little buzz in the building yeah. now. People are getting into it here at the Hard Rock Hotel. Not to belabor the point, but the Yamaguchi name, when you say, well, he's fighting, it's because he's the go get a beer guy. Yeah. Back of the head. You've had too much beer. Back go of the head. Yourself. But uh, this is actually pretty entertaining here yeah, throughout the first three rounds. The question is, if Espada has enough of a gas tank to really sustain this over the long haul. He's trying to load oh, the right hand. I got to tell you, right Wait. there, Yamaguchi walked in there through a low left and uppercut from too far, and his chin was dangling into the night. He actually got away with hanging a curveball just then in the corner. Look, Yamaguchi puts his hands on now. Okay, okay. So this might be like a Tijuana fight. You fight at the Russian level bar, you, you got to put on a show. He's spotted with his hands down. You know, he's not winning the fight of spotted. He's winning the crowd, though. Yeah, he is. Yamaguchi Falcao. <laughs> Throwing jabs, coming in, following them combinations. Ten seconds to go in the third round between Yamaguchi Falcao and Elias Espadas. Any more pressure? Now that guy right there may be outgunned, but he has certainly been game, and you see him running in to punches. Yamaguchi Falcon, we talked about this before, when your natural characteristic is to basically box off your back foot, certain fighters are much more effective and comfortable, Beto, boxing in a reverse gear rather than initiating the action coming forward. That is certainly the case with Falcao early on. Now, when Gennady Golovkin was looking for an opponent in May, one name thrown out there was Yamaguchi Falcao, and that was one immediately by boxing fans thrown right away. Yeah, and, and for, for good reason. I don't think he's really beaten a top 10 middleweight, and unlike uh, Jaime Munguia, who's certainly very inexperienced and young, who at least had a major championship belt, looking at the landscape at 160, Beto, there's only one organization that rates Stop! Flash your There's a headbutt! Go over there! Uh, Time! This has been a dirty, nasty, and yeah. entertaining Stop. fight, and Jay Nady will take a look at Espada. But my point is... A cut by a butt! There's a reason why Falcao is only in the top ten of the WBC. He really has not left his mark four years into this professional game. I need to get over here. Oh, Is that the bien? Yeah. Okay. It's okay? All right. Go over there. Because he's looking in the right. replay. Cut my big butt. Screen. He's trying to look at his face and his spot. Time in. Box. Let me get you landed with his forehead here in the fourth round. Yamaguchi, the southpaw. The most Brazilian athletes. So don't, you don't have to use my last name, just use my first name. Yamaguchi is actually the name of his father, sensei. His father was a martial artist, and the father, to honor his sensei, named his second stop. son hey, stop. after him. And you see the blood from Box. the nose of Espada's where the clash ahead is actually busted him right on the nose. Stop! Another stop! Clash. Clash oh, okay. Come here! Now we're going to take the point. One Another point! Is. One point. Beto, yeah. One point. In front of his front. Foot. They're gonna have another one. We're doing again. Coming forward with the slide step, and he gets okay. very over anxious, and his head comes over that front foot, which is causing. You got the no choice here, buddy. 
He actually threw out the mouthpiece, did Espadas after that clash. It's yours. Yep. Yours. So he got hit in the nose. He got hit this time. I think it looked like the mouth by the clash. Usually the headbutts are up high. Yeah. But again, Falcos just diving in there very recklessly. And quite frankly, it's probably because he's not used time to in. doing such things. Yeah. So Falcao, who knocked down the spot as a second, has a point taken away in the fourth. Something that I noticed about Falcao when he rushes in and tries to charge his spot is his hands come down. He is leaving counter-punching opportunities for the Mexican. Stop! Box. 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 It, 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 it's a street fight now, Steve. Forget the boxing. It is just, let's get in the alley and get after each other. You know, my suggestion for Jay Nady to get out of the ring and let them settle. <laughs> just take the gloves off, right? As the mouthpiece of the fuck else comes out. It's a, it's a gentleman's sport, right? Not this one. <laughs> Not the one we're looking at. Not this fight. The Queensberry rules have been thrown out for this particular contest, and I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's fun. It, it, Time it. in. Box! The Southpaw, Falcao, the Mexican, and he has his father. Talking in with the Canadian. You remember me? No knockdown! There's a back of the head! No knockdown! No back knockdown! Go over there! Back of the head. This has been the Jay Nady show. He has to Back of the, the head. Accidental. Gucci Falcao and supporting actor. Come in. Spotted. Box. But he, Jay has to. Jay has to get in this place. There's sometimes referees are too involved. But right now, I mean, you know, to check these guys in together, like, press knuckles out there, too. Tactically fighting a pretty sound fight. Time! He's on his back foot, and he's not on his again. Hey! I don't know what's going on here. You know, if that mouthpiece comes dislodged against him, Falcao, we're looking at another point deduction. So which guy is undefeated right now? <laughs> right? Box! Jay Nate again, the vocal cord. Stretched. Arms stretched. Crowd is into it. They're booing Falcao, the fan, so obviously a spotter has won the Mexicans to the crowd. It's so good. I'm getting it. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting it. Okay? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay? I'm getting it. Nothing's happening. I guess it was good. And we look at some of the mess from the previous round. This has been a story. Yamaguchi Falcao. You know, if he was a fullback, I think he would have got the first down the way he stuck his nose into that pile right there. Boy, that's about as blatant as you can get in boxing. Yeah. And there's the cuffing right hook that was correctly ruled no knockdown by referee Jay Nady. Ooh, I don't know what he's getting paid tonight. Box. It ain't enough. James working it. Fifth round. Four round, four <laughs> rugged rounds we've gone through. A point to the for Falcao and a knockdown for Falcao. Oh, 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 Steve King, is this, it is entertaining. Listen, I, I've never had this much fun watching or calling a Yamaguchi Falcao fight. Ever. Now, He's ahead on the scorecard, but he's leaving. No, 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 of no! Opportunity to run into a Don't right do that! Don't do spotted. that! You can Box. tell again. It's been a common theme. He simply is not comfortable in the role of aggressor. And when the pressure being brought by a spotter, that's not your traditional boxing pressure. It's just it's about making it ugly. Well, if you're a spotter, you want to keep setting yeah. on that back foot and try to time him with that right hand coming in. Stop. Yeah, oh, break. Step back, please. Yeah, Frank Belmar and I worked at Spada's spot at the Del Mar Fairground for four years ago. And I, so Spada saw me yesterday. Do you remember me? Like, yeah. You know, I pretend like I did. Well, yeah, of course. Stop. 
Well, that fight was ugly. I'm like, yeah, it was. Yeah. He, he busted Watch. his hand. Yeah, but tomorrow, I'm going to put it on a good show. Well, well, I don't think so. That fight is a downright Mona Lisa based on what we're seeing tonight. But, you know, honestly, as far as now getting into this yeah. fight. Oh, and he gets hit with a good left hand by Yamaguchi fucked out. Best shot that I've done. Break! Break! Break. Oh. Box! They're both complaining of a headbutt, and Nady just said separate. The fighters with the right. Stop! Stop! Box! You know, this is a real fight. I, I think that even though this is a real fight, they should allow headgear. So that's why headgear was really created. It's not really to protect the head, it's to really protect from cuts. Stop. I don't think people really understand that. But that was you that time. This fight here, I can't recall a fight where two guys are just ramming into each other so consistently. Falcao speaks Portuguese only. Spada, Spanish only. Jay Navy is, he's just giving the directions box. Like, you can't explain to these guys what's going on because there's a language barrier there. Navy's just like, keep going. You gotta protect yourself. No, no! What oh. the fuck? Oh, now he speaks English. Nice One box! <laughs> You're not getting any more points. <laughs> Jay Navy flat out said, you, you've used your last coupon. Okay, yeah. that's expired. I do not envy Stop. Jay Navy Break. right now at all. Break! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, box. Jay. My goodness. Everybody's earning their money here in Vegas. Termina la chueca lo llama. No esperes por él, papi. Hey, mira dónde. Necesito que lo termine para que esta gente vea que tú eres un buen boxeador. Acábalo. Finish him. Bajito. All right, this has been a bit of a bar fight between Falco and Espadas. And Espadas did some pretty good work here in the previous round, landing perhaps the best shot. But this has been the story of the night. It's been real dirty, real dirty action. It's, it's been kind of a muck and grind. And Jay nady has been in the middle of this whole mess. Falco, that uppercut. Beto, through five rounds, he has built a 48-45 lead Box. on my card. How hard is it to score that? Se llama Zapato. Oh, Jay Nady speaks Spanish now. This fight has uh, everything for you. Watch your Zapatos. Your shoes. Watch your shoes. It's gotta be the shoes. Jorge Linata sits down and he's probably thinking, oh, okay, good fight. The shot landed by Falcao. That's a good one too from Falcao. More boxing for Falcao would be perfect for him, right? It would be in this sense, but, you know, again, I don't know if he had the mindset that I need to look exciting, but he has certainly taken on a very aggressive tack here tonight. And again, he's getting hit with some shots right up the middle as his head comes out over his feet. He needs to come in with a little bit more sense of distance Stop. and spacing Break. and understanding. Break. There's an old saying, box okay. off your back foot. If your head comes over your front knee, you're probably in bad alignment. Finally give each other some space. No clash. But this is where Yamaguchi should right. take over, right? This fight right here is exactly what his trainers want. Nice and controlled setting. <laughs> and then that breaks out. Where's he looking at? I, he's looking into the corner of his spotters. Is Yamaguchi Falcao. Now box. This fight is having everything for us. <laughs> Undefeated with seven KOs of Yamaguchi Fokal, the Southpaw. Elias Espada, 17-3 from Media Yucatan, Mexico. Because the pace finally slows down. Right, and when Falcao does this, he takes away the windows of opportunity yeah. for Espada to actually counterpunch and be effective. So 
Now the right from Yamaguchi. That's the counter you're talking about, right, Steve? Stop! When Yamaguchi Break. Falcao is going to box Please. on the outside and wait Come for Spadas to lead, he's much more effective, and it's a much cleaner fight technically from his perspective. Much better round for Yamaguchi Falcao. You know, but as I watch this, as Falcao now goes right-handed, I do wonder as I look at him leaning Stop. in, Stop. mothering himself at times. Oh, yeah. back because you dug your head. Quality Stop. sparring can he actually get in Brazil? A lot of these technical issues really need to be worked out in the gym over years. He's 30. Yeah, and, you know, as they say, the die may be cast already. He, he ducked his head. Go! Seventh round of action here at the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. But Duran, Steve Kim, watch Yamaguchi Falcao in his palace here in Las Vegas. Bit, huh? oh, this has been a hard fight. Oh. No doubt about that. Probably had more exchanges, thrown more combinations than maybe any of his other previous 15 professional bouts. Maybe combined. Because when he was being developed with him at the Velasco Club Show in Los Angeles, and they were bringing him up, he was getting, as you say, Steve, uh, the baby food, right? Oh, similar. Similar. There you go. Then they progressed and moved him. He was winning the fights, but it wasn't. He was never really tested. Yeah, and that's why, up until this point, four years into his career, the toughest battle has been Morgan Fitch, which took care of pretty easily, in all fairness. Uh, but you look at the middleweight landscape currently. We talked to Ad Nauseam about September 15th for the middleweight title between Canelo Alvarez and Golovkin. But then Danny Jacobs and Sergey Derevchenko will be fighting for the vacant IBF title in the fall. Rita Maruda holds a version of the WBA. He'll be fighting in October. And then Billy Joe Saunders could be facing Google Andre for the WBO title. So the last stuff breaking Fox. out. Question is, will Falco have a place at the table? Stop! 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 Alt. Box. And obviously there's other really good contenders like Jamal Charlo yeah. that cannot be forgotten about. Power punching out of Houston, who, who certainly, again, I don't know if his opposition has created a bit of a mirage, but every time you see him, you want to see more. He leaves an impression. And now you see Falcao Bobby. This is what more or less he is. Some of the fireworks have died down here from the early round. Yamaguchi used to be with um, Garcia, who might think of the trainer in Ventura. Robert Garcia. Oh, yeah, his brother. Oh, Danny Garcia. He started off with Danny Garcia early in his career. But one of the problems was he would have a fight, go back to Brazil, come back only for a fight, and they really couldn't develop some of the things that Danny would like to work on, which I think we're seeing right now. You look at all those fighters of Eagles climate as an exchange here in late round number seven. You know, they all come from Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Russia, and Ukraine. They all make the commitment to live in the United States full time. If you want to live in the big city and compete at the world-class level, there are certain sacrifices that have to be made. Yamaguchi walked back really slow to his corner. He's tired. Yeah, and he probably has a headache, too.
una apretadita. Bien. Ah, no me saque los pies, no me saque lo, la, las manos abiertas, no me abra las manos, está bien. Si me, si me, si me pone una convicción bien, bien, bien acomodada, papi. Ah, sí, te lo digo, espérate. Respírame dónde. Now Cal settling the action down from the outside, working the perimeter. And this is what he does well, counter-punching, as Espadas makes the commitment to initiate the action. And Espadas has certainly been game, trying his best to make this a fight, which he did early on. Seems like Falco is now taking control of the action going into the late rounds of this scheduled 10-rounder. Box! Eighth round of action coming up. Good shot landed by Yamaguchi Falcao. Solid left hand. The pace has slowed down. Spotters went down in the second. Fun was abducted by Yamaguchi. Stop! Stop! Fourth. No! It was a bar Box. fight earlier. Jay Nady has been very emphatic tonight with his instructions. Ah, he had to be. These guys weren't listening. Another strong left by the Brazilian. Right hook, Yamaguchi. Where's this been in his career? Well, again, maybe he hasn't had a dance partner like a Stop your head! So willing. Was you? But again, once you? Yamaguchi began counterpunching, this fight really shifted tactically where Yamaguchi started to dominate. No, 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 no! You pull it down. One more time, another point. Box! And the mouthpiece went flying out. Time! It's Yamaguchi's. The third time his mouthpiece has flown out. Next time you lose his mouthpiece, you lose a point. Mouthpiece and point. And there you heard Jay Nady flat out saying there's going to be another point deduction, but I think at that point it might be academic. It seems like Falco really in. built Box. a lopsided edge on the scorecard going into the last nine minutes. Yamaguchi is starting to look like the guy who the fighter who's 15 and 0. He's controlling these last few rounds. You know Robert Diaz in the brain trust that Golden League? No, no. You have a decision no. to make here. Okay, so you put 15 fights in, which is not a lot, except given the fact he is 30 years old. Now, maybe if he was mid-20s, you'd handle this differently. But there comes a point you're going to have to see Stop. what you have. Box. The reality is, he, he's, he's not a draw in America. There's not a lot of interest in the network based on his past performances. And maybe he has to make the stand here. Now, tonight, if he could fight more or less along this type of tempo and tenor, where he's making the stand. But I tell you one thing, every time he comes forward yeah. and is aggressive, he leaves opportunities for Spadas to counter with that right hand. Something. Golden Boy, 160 pounds. Who do they have there? They have uh, Jason Quigley. Jason Quigley. Maybe, maybe if you want to do a step-up fight for that young man, yes. an in-house battle there. Although I, I don't know exactly what they want to do at this point. But keep this in mind. This was supposed to be Demetrius Andre. True. They, no. they did want to go up to a certain echelon tonight. Then shouldn't you be controlling to win this fight easier? Well, you know, Stop! on the Stop! scorecard, it looks lopsided, but in reality, this has been a tough physical grind, no doubt about that. Pero lo que pasa es que no puedes dejar que, que tienes que concentrarte, está bien. No puedes que dejar que se acomode de nuevo, está bien. Cuando termina la combinación, lo está dando mucho tiempo para... Falcao landing a quick little short left off the ropes and a big one. And another one doing some very good work off his back foot from the hard charging Elias Espadas. And then later on in the round, 
There that. you go. Kind of does a wind up there. Yeah, a little I shimmy. It didn't look like he was holding anyone on on first base. A long wind up. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Angel Hernandez umpire would have called it. Syndergaard would have appreciated it. Don't grab his head. Don't do that. Another clash. Ninth stop, round of action. Stop, stop. Wait, please. Elias is spot us, knows what he is. Box. He's a veteran. He'll come in, make it hard. He's going to try to get lucky with a big shot. He does have some power behind it. And he's eating big shots now from Yamaguchi Falcao. Stop! He tried to make it ugly. He tried to Box. mix it up. Wait, he was successful he, in He that. was, for a he, point. He mucked it up. Falcao does a version of the Ali shuffle. How are you doing that when you when you do this? <laughs> You're gonna do the Ollie shuffle Stop, and give up break. a combination to your face. Let go, please. Based on what I've seen tonight, Beto, uh, if I'm Golden Boy, I try to find another really aggressive top ten middleweight. I want to see what he has. Against? Uh, you'd have to go through the rake again. Yeah. He's number nine in the WBC. <laughs> This is much better, Yamaguchi Fuka. Yeah, but Moving around. There comes a point in time, as they say, you have to get off the pot, okay? Uh, you gotta perform. Ah. Especially if you wanna be TV. Stop, Especially stop. if you wanna be fighting for a belt. And I'll be honest, uh, Demetrius Andre is a talented okay, guy. Andre and Falcao may have been the cure for insomnia. Okay? Oh. That, that Stylistically, that was not a great fight. This here, actually, in its own very strange way was entertaining for what it was but 30 years old 15 fights in he may not get better technically because this point you just have to roll the dice and as they say let's see what we have or cut ties you're at 30 you're not developing anybody at 30. Box. That's why we're commentating, not matchmaking. Because <laughs> on these Twitter streets, everybody's a matchmaker. This is more the Yamaguchi. Land one, move. Well, look, the last guy that Danny Jacobs fought, the Polish fighter, Macy Ed Sulecki. Yeah. I, I thought he was very good in that fight. Yeah. That was a fun that, fight. That wouldn't be a bad matchup for Falcao. Okay. No, no, I want no, a guy no. that's going to be active, that's going to throw punches, Box. and has a certain level of seasoning. Stop! Rugged round. Yamaguchi pulling away from Falk, from uh, Elias and Spot. Delay Bay when Mickey Roman basically ended the career of Orlando Salido. Munguia was on the undercard facing Paul Valenzuela. And at that point, yeah. he was a relatively unknown prospect, although Ring Magazine did name him the prospect of the year. No, 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 no! Another one behind the you head. You pulled him! Yeah, you, you, you! No more, no more! Come on, come on! You're not hurt, and that was a pull! Go fight or quit! Jamie, I think, wants to give both these guys a five-minute timeout. The principal J Nady to get it in there. Uppercut land by Falcao. Abajo, Elia! Abajo! He's gonna go for broke. Abajo. That was low. Fox! J Nady earning every single penny today. But he's had to. Thank you. Fox! And Falcao is showing off. Keyshawn Johnson with the Jets, huh? <laughs> All those receivers always showing off. Uh, just throw him the Stop. damn ball. Break. It is break. Now box. Jay Nady just wants to hear that bell. Let's get out of here. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Oh. Okay, you're going to do that. Back it up. Elias is spot us. Take the fight short notice. Oh, big, 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 big shot. Yamaguchi trying to close it out. Can he? Do we have it? Elias 
Chris Botter. We need some punches here in the tent. Betsy, you know what would be a good Show test me something. Some solid soldier, taking some tough breaks, gone tough rounds with really good fighters. See Falcao match with Martin Murray. Martin Murray! Very respectable fight. Let's see what Falcao has. As a bow. And plus, Murray might be faded a little bit past his prime, but I think he's had actually a very underrated career. May have beat Felix Sturm. I thought he beat Sergio Martinez. And actually extended Gennady Golovkin 11, 12 rounds. Stand Murray now. Break. Murray, I believe, is in his mid 30s, and he just yeah. recently Box. won a fight about yeah. five weeks ago against Robert, not that one, Garcia. Yeah, the other one. No, 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 no. Box. Fight. Winding down. It's just been dragged out. Ugly and mercifully. You know, I think no, no, no. you know the best thing you could say about this 10 rounder? Box what? It wasn't 12. That a boy. That a boy, Steve Kim. You you also, Steve Kim, have earned every <laughs> single dollar tonight. As this one has died, Jaime Mugia, Liam Smith is the main event. Yamaguchi Falcao, Elias Espadas. They go the distance. The doctors are gonna have their hands, so they're gonna have to check everything. Well, I think both guys are going to need aspirin. The way they banged heads throughout the night. I could easily see both of them. I think that being, being dead serious, I would check them from a concussion. They yeah. had some really hard clashes of heads throughout the night, especially the first half. When we take a look at some of the action from Falco, who really poured it on. And you know, but in all fairness, now Falco is going to be an aggressive guy, as reckless, as uncomfortable as that makes him. Uh, let's see what he has at the top 10 level in the middleweight division. You see a spot of, whoa, what a good chin he has, taking some shots right on the button here in round number 10 at the Hard Rock. Spot of game. I wouldn't mind seeing him up against a young 160-pound prospect. Jay Quigley. That, yep. That type of guy. So this one will go to the scorecards. And we're in the second round. The spot of who's dropped. The fourth round, Falcao had a point deducted. She is right behind him holding the Brazilian flag. They're working on the eyes and the cuts. Espada. So he's got a long flight back to Mérida, Yucatan. Falcao, who will be going back to Brazil. Going up next, Alberto Machado and Rafael Mensa, two undefeated fighters, going at it. 130 pounds. Judges tallying up their cards. Corners tending to their fighters. Should be an easy call. I only gave a spot as one round, and there was the point deduction of Falcao in the fourth. Otherwise, most of this fight has been dominated and controlled by the man from Brazil. Probably most likely up this record to 16 and 0. But again, Beto still looking to make his mark. Let's go. Let's go. Fight. You got inside it. Today, sempre na correr que não é tua. Vai ter correr minha. Quero pelear contigo, Garisol. David Lemie, a sempre junto também. Tu pelea. Let's go, let's go, fight. David Lemie. David Lemieux? Is that who's calling out? You know, that's not a David bad fight. Lemieux? Now, David Lemieux is actually rumored to be on the September 15th card. That, oh. Now, that would be something that would interest me. Because Lemieux will bring the fight. The question is, can Lemieux actually make the middleweight limit? Been some issues with that. That, uh, yes. Yeah. Lemieux, uh, he's calling out David Lemieux. Let's make the fight. Okay. Yamaguchi. There's the two fighters hug in the middle. I don't think Spot is really care for that hug. <laughs> <laughs> Their heads have been close enough the whole night, Beto. As the judges are still trying to tally up the scorecard. Mark Fratto is in the ring. 
ready with our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, here in the fight capital of Las Vegas, let's get a big round of applause for these two warriors. Laying it on the line, all 10 rounds in the center of the ring. Having gone the distance, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge at ringside, Glenn Trowbridge, scored the action 95-93. Patricia Morris-Jarman and Ricardo Ocasio saw it 96-92. All three judges in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated from Espiritu Santo, Brazil, Yamaguchi Yamaguchi.